too loud, turn them down. I can't. Well then, buy headphones with volume control. He's awful cheeky. Because this is not loud enough for me. He's awful like cheeky. Really. And he's, wow. And he's tin beef. No, I like it to be as if no. you're at a gig, you know, and you can feel the bass drum in your chest. It's really low. It's really low. It's really low now. Yes, you're really loud. He's oh. a very noisy person. Well, your microphone's not on. Oh. <laughs> Right, sorry about that. It. You know, I can hear yourself now. Yes, yes. I was wondering why you were so friendly. Trying to get closer. Don't push your microphone away from me. Stop it. I've measured things. I've got things at precise angles and, you know, because I'm a technician. Mm -hmm. Right. Johnny, wish my ma in law, Kay Mackey, a happy birthday today. Uh, tell her our house is never the same if she doesn't visit at least twice a day. From son in law, Jim McCluskey. How you doing, Jim? Right, we were talking about um, neighbours borrowing things and all. Have you mm -hmm. any, any memories of that? Or what have you borrowed? No? Toilet rolls? <laughs> no? no, someone was saying about <laughs> our, our neighbours borrowed uh, two toilet rolls one night. <laughs> and then after a couple of hours brought them back in. No! No, brought them, ba no, brought them back in. Says they haven't been used. The visitors never went to the toilet. <laughs> That was Big Jed saying, really, really. visitors come and toilet rolls, you know. <laughs> oh, they never went there. Uh, and it went, Ugh. right, okay. Well, but next door neighbours, it's all right to borrow an onion or something. Next like door neighbours, listen, where we grew up, next door neighbours, you could have borrowed anything, mm -hmm. right? Yes. But I, I, when does the, you know, when does the tolerance for people borrowing stuff wear out? I mean, for instance, if, if people two doors from you came to borrow something, you'd be like, Oh, well, we like it. People from two doors. Well, okay. Or mm -hmm. three doors. That's we're, okay, no, yes. Ah, get away with that. Straight, yes. No, straight. Because we all grew up together and we all know each other during mm. these years, but it's not the same in every street these days. Oh, it was no, years it's, ago. It's not now, like, not now. But you know, I, I think that the welcome wears out the further down the street you go. You know? many other we don't live to next door to you. Because like, people next door can walk into your house without wrapping the door. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't, again, I don't know about now. Mm -hmm. In our street, two doors away, probably could have done that too. Mm. And three doors away, you wouldn't expect yes. them just to walk into your house. Yes. Uh, and, and, and lift. Five doors away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've, had, we've had, um, I mean, I know that neighbours, um, sorry, you just weren't in earlier, but I come in and, um, and, and borrowed a teapot, you know? Listen, Is that my, okay? One of our neighbours comes in and washes our windows. Class. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, thank you, the need done again. Give her, right out. Give her, give her my address. <laughs> She has a magic cloth. No, but when you're great, great neighbours, it's a yes, great thing. Yes, it is. And it's I'm, amazing. I'm, I'm afraid that it's kind of dying out a bit. Neighbours mm -hmm. aren't what they were. And I have to say where I am, I do have good neighbours now, you know. But, but years ago. Yeah. But th but that's because they're afraid of crossing the line. Younger ones coming up don't know that you make an effort with your neighbours. If you don't know your next door neighbour, years ago, some your mummy would have says, go in and whatever, Bar say hello. Borrow some. <laughs> make them feel at home. <laughs> No, well, but I, I mean, the I can remember, you, you come home from school or uh, on a night out and, and come into the house and, you know, you're going, whoa, there's Maureen from next door, uh -huh. Philomena from the other next door, and they're all uh -huh. sitting and talking and uh, maybe Maureen Davidson, God rest her. Uh -huh. You know, they'll all be sitting in and talking away and uh -huh. sometimes you have to think what house you were in, you know? <laughs> Do you remember the night my dad came out of the... <laughs> Do you remember this? <laughs> my dad had been out um, for a snifter, right? <laughs> Staggered down out of the hitching post, and um, he came in and he sat in front of the sofa and he's just watching the TV. And uh, <laughs> Philomena, <laughs> Philomena, came in and sat on the sofa beside him. And my dad says, Philomena, I don't know where Teresa is. I'm not. Uh, I don't know where she is. I haven't seen. There's nobody in. Philomena says, Polly, you're in my house. <laughs> he just came down the back path and in the wrong house and sat watching the TV. <laughs> The there's no of them in Zen, I don't know where they are. <laughs> uh, Thank you, you should, that was the story you told. I thought you were going to tell a completely different story. <laughs> no, no, there's, there's ones. What? Anyway, well, I'll never, but that was the, you know, Philomena didn't even make a thing of it because there was mm -hmm. people walking in and out of your house. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be, I used to love that about our place, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And even your mates and all, nobody wrapped the door. Mm -hmm. Just walk in. And sat you know, down. Walk, walk in. And if you happen to be anywhere near, oh, you're getting some to eat. You know, just, Gary, get getting some to eat. Give us that there. You know. Paul, give him your dinner. <laughs> I only come in to save you as we're going to the football. I, I sit down, son. You're the youngest. Uh, 
You were the worst for people in the house because you and taxi men. Beg your pardon, that was what you've been. What have you been? <laughs> no, listen, I mean, Racy was a taxi man. Yes, right? yes. Racy was like one of our family because he used to spend half his night sitting in our house waiting on you. Mm -hmm. You would you would phone the taxi and then go up and get a bath. <laughs> I'm down upstairs. And Rice would be sitting with a fag and a cup of tea and his, his, his dinner and sitting down. No, shoes, we're watching this. You know, we're watching this film. Sitting watch Gone with the Wind waiting on you. Oh, seriously. Right. Uh, I'd like to be on time. Aye. Johnny, my dad was born in 1915 in the Shangle and used to tell about a neighbour who borrowed their clock when nobody was in to take to the pawn shop. <laughs> nobody in. Give us their clock. <laughs> Mags, that's a but that's what happened. Mags, uh, thank you for getting in touch. Can I tell you a story about the pawn shop? This was something that my mummy told me years ago. Go. She said whenever they used to go to the pawn shop, whenever their mummy would send them to the pawn shop, she would send them with uh, a shoe box with shoes and wrap it up in brown paper and say, bring that to the pawn shop. So bring it for the weekend, they'd have a couple of shillings and then they'd have to go and get it out again. Redeem them on the Monday. So it was always the same money that they were getting back in the pawn shop, Mum. Was in the end, they didn't even put the shoes in the box. They just sent the empty box. <laughs> no. Yes. Pawn the box because that was your that was your surety. That yes. was I. It didn't even have to do no, put anything me. in the box. Oh, no, you're joking me. Yeah. Um, Johnny, I had a neighbour once came in and asked me for four potatoes. Oh, and a, 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 a tin of peas or beans, whatever you have. <laughs> He couldn't cook them for us. <laughs> and if you any old uh, steak laying about there, you know. <laughs> but that's but, the thing, you're not going to see anybody stuck. No, you're not, of course. Listen, I mean, everybody who has lent stuff out has also borrowed. Mm. And we've all on both sides of that and been grateful for a bit of help. Mm. But I just, I, I love that atmosphere of, you know, you never know who was in your in the house when you got mm -hmm. there, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's different ones used to run about our house. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was great crack, you know. You couldn't get a seat like, but you know, it was, <laughs> it was great crack. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm doing I'm trying to think. There's other people. Yes. <clears throat> Johnny, we had a neighbor borrowed toilet rolls all the time. But the best one was when she came in on Christmas Day and asked for the lend of a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> It's Christmas. <laughs> Isn't they're all stinking? They have to get their yearly bath Christmas morning. Lens that soup. I'll give you it back. Ooh. You know? oh, yes. but that's, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that nowadays that might sound all, um, you know, weird. Weird. But that was normal. But it wasn't it? Was normal then? It was normal. Johnny, I grew up in Lenadown, and you couldn't have got a new carpet that the whole street didn't know about it. Yeah, and they'd come in and look at it. They really would come in and look at it. And again, the man makes a point here, I think it's a man, and then there's news today that an elderly woman was found lying dead in her house and had been there for a couple of years on oh. the Suffolk Road. See, that's what I thought when I first heard that. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would have, because everybody would have been checking on everybody mm -hmm. all the time, you know, mm -hmm. and it's, um, that's, you know, whoa, it's, it's, that's a sign of how different things are. Mm -hmm. That would never happen. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know you've gone to see a film, what is it? Flatliners. Right? So I'll play a clip. Because um, this is, there was an old film, this is a remake. Yeah. Okay? I remember liking the original, so we'll see what this is like. Flatliners, here we go. You give them one minute and then you Right, go ahead. What, no, tell you tell us what you think it's about. Right. <coughs> okay, there are five medical students and the start to one of them there are five medical students and they get together and one of them is the instigator and wants to do experiments on if there's an afterlife and she wants to do it sort of as a, a thesis. So she coaxes, she coaxes the other ones. She has to get her heart to stop 
for a minute so mm -hmm. that she can see if there's an afterlife if there, and right. to tape her brain to see if there's any activity when actually her body is essentially dead so they do this and it's the consequences of doing this does that make sense yes well it's the same plot as the original exactly mm -hmm. the same they, they try and explore what happens when your body is physically dead mm -hmm. uh, see if anything happens and then they have to do the clear and try yes. and bring them back and all, yes. you know but all it's of very it. good but it's their experiences while they're in that kind of yes. limbo they have nightmares and there's all kinds of you're very stuff. good at this mm -hmm. running with a doodah no well that's what um that was mm -hmm. the original yes it exactly the well, same. it's the same thing but it's very good and it has a wee bit of difference it, there's a difference to it than the original but it's Kiefer Sutherland's in it yes again I think he was in the original yes but he, so. he's not one of the flat no, liners no no he's a, he's a doctor in it now mm. um, who else is in it Nina mm. Dobrev have you watched Vampire Diaries right, there's nobody in it I know no, you know the girl Ellen Page she was a girl that played Juno years ago and she's <coughs> brilliant alright Juno um, Miguel Anthony's in it worth watching then oh worth I what? What has he done? <laughs> Plays left wing for <laughs> Real Madrid. <laughs> You're listening. I don't know my uh, right, See, so on my show, can I tell you this wee bit? On Stop my show, me. I do round the world. So yes. I throw the dice and see where we're going to land round the world. Right. And the other night, we landed on Spain, and people get in touch with me, of musicians or whatever from Spain. Right. And I play a couple of tunes. That's a good wee idea. And see. Right, folks, tomorrow on the Johnny <laughs> Harrell show, brand new feature. <laughs> but, we're on the globe. It's going to be called. <laughs> So Spain, and you know the way sometimes I don't get things right, so I looked up and no. tell, tell me a bit about the country and mm -hmm. some of the famous people. So the, yes, other, so so the other night, I give out footballers from Spain, right. and every one of the ones I typed into Google footballers from Spain, right. but it gave me footballers that played in Spain, oh, not footballers yes, from Spain. Gareth Bale and so, Ronaldo. So I give out these were Spanish football players, and there was a Spanish girl listening, and she got done to me. <laughs> Yeah. Neymar's not from Spain. Ronaldo's yeah. not from Spain. I says, but they, Idiota. They, they, yeah. they go to Spain. So they go to Spain. If there's a tenuous so link, I'm Spanish. So I'm a holidays in Spain. <laughs> but if there's a tenuous link, I like to run with it as well. All right, yeah. okay, no bother. Um, do do do. Else, robots. No what? Robots. No, hold on. I haven't got one. We used to go to the wardrobe to get our suits and our shoes out for mass. This was in the sixties, and uh, if they weren't there, they would be in the pond. And me and the youngest had to go and get the suits and the shoes out on a Monday. I'll never forget the brown paper wrapped up with that white string. And such a slegging you would get trying to sneak home with that parcel if your mates saw you. <laughs> yeah, you're in the pawn. Close out of the pawn. Right, Vincent, no bother. Right, and i got to say hello. Phil in Belfast says, um, enjoying the crack. I'm with my mum in hospital listening to you 105 loud and clear. Phil, thank you. Tell your mummy we're asking about her. Johnny, my ma's neighbour used to borrow the brush, mop and shovel to clean her house and then come in <laughs> and borrow the Irish news. <laughs> want to see who's dead. She also borrowed two rounds of bread because she didn't want to buy a loaf. What? I mean... Doesn't make her a bad person. Two round, just two rounds of bread. Um, somebody else was there saying, um, my neighbour once came in and asked for uh, to borrow a couple of slices of bap. And could you cut it with a jammy knife? <laughs> Sebastian. Oh, that's very good. Class. Uh -huh. Absolutely class. Very good. Right, quickly about robots. Yes. Oh, how we got here. Go ahead, Boy, robots. My head's going. Was I talking about robots? You were? You just said I robots? Wasn't. I know what I thought. You said you were reading a book about robots. Uh, that's, I didn't want to talk about it. Yes. What are you going to say? Did what a robot attack you? Holy, right. Artificial intelligence, because I was reading something the other night about artificial intelligence. Um, I forget what it was. I really do forget. You what do it was. surprise me. <laughs> you did. really do. But you did do say you not have an argument with a machine in a car park? Oh something? no! I imagined if artificial intelligence became so intelligent, maybe you'd be afraid of your toaster and end up fighting with it in the car park somewhere. Oh, that's what Stephen Hawking's going on. Yes, about. he says it's getting too. It's getting ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, you know they have had loads of computers for years. They couldn't get a computer to pass the Turing test. Yes. What's the Turing test? The the. That you can't tell the difference between it and a human. Yes, it interacting with it. Yes. 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 I want to Behaves like a human and can respond intuitively and everything else. Yeah. Well, there's loads and loads of machines and computers that have passed That's the Turing the test and it's getting dangerous. Mm -hmm. You know, Hawking's worry is that, you know, they will have a semblance of a conscience and make their own decisions. Mm -hmm. And if these happen to be weapons or weaponized vehicles, then we're, it's, it's going to be like Terminator. Well, there's all. Skynet. They're, they're already making their own decisions independent of because yeah. it was two computers google did 
a test with recently and they had to shut them down because the information they give them they then had their own info started speaking in code to each other that's that right that's they hadn't right. input it well i would explain our machines in here every time there's a mistake i just say it's that machine doing what it wants <laughs> doing its own thing right <laughs> These, these computers are too smart. <laughs> Johnny, when my granddad died, his suit was in the pond, and Granny had to use his brother's suit that was about five sizes too big to bury him in. That's Marie, Marie, thank you. What are you laughing at? That's tragic. Sorry, it's it terrible. is tragic. It is. Right, listen, I may go. Okay. What are you giving that film? Oh. Apart from a wide berth, sounds brutal. Eight and a half. No, it was very really good. It, it got about four on the no, websites. No, it was very good. I was entertained. Right. Okay, eight and a half. Okay. Uh, thank you. When are you head to bowling? <laughs> uh, Saturday from 10 o'clock until 2. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Back in your cage. <laughs> U105 Traffic and Travel with American <laughs> Holidays in partnership with WestJet. Celebrating Canada's 150th anniversary with Direct. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? <clears throat> Back again, Belfast, there's been a collision. Country bound on the M1 off slip at Junction 3, Blacks Road. The off slip down to one lane. It's passable with care, and there are knock on delays stretching back to Junction 1 at Broadway. In East Belfast, traffic lights out of action on the Upper Newton Arch Road at the Stormont Car Park entrance. Drivers in the area, again, be prepared to stop and give way. Elsewhere, busy leaving the M1 country.